happening, Captain? This is Garrett Brown Art Studio, and today we are selling the ocean blues. But we're gonna have a nice, calm, relaxing time today. So join me for some beautiful blooms and blues. If we haven't met, this is Garrett Brown. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me leave you with one thing. Do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. Without further ado, let's get started. So it has been months since I have done any blooms this small on my tiles. Um, if you've been following me since the beginning, tiles is where I started with blooms. And I recommend that you start with blooms that way as well if you're getting started because they're so cheap. Um, you can save a lot of product by not wasting so much. And you really get some good practice in. So today I'm just experimenting with the blues. And I wanted to see how I liked it before I committed to some larger pieces. So you're just getting a little action here as well. <laughs> I'm loving these colors and I think we will have some success. So we're going to give it a go. What's going on, beautiful people? Let me quickly go over these colors for you. So this is my Pebeo Blue Black. And this is what that looks like in the bottle. This is my Payne's Gray, which this is my Master's Touch, one of my favorite brands. Next, we have Permanent Blue Violet, which this is here. And this lovely blue is Ultramarine by Golden. A little goes a long way. And lastly, we have Aqua Green mixed with a ton of white. So you just need a little dab. Um, this is an opaque, so it doesn't take much. And we add our titanium white paint. And that is the color that we get. Let's mix up some fresh cell activator here. And this is going to be our dark cell activator. I love the contrast when you do too. Here's the consistency of my dark cell activator. This is Mars Black and a little bit of Premier Violet mixed together. All right, here's our pillow paint. All right, so we want to start with our Pebeo Blue Black.
add our two cell activators. Now, I already have a dark color here, and I'm going to add a dark cell activator on top. Um, but we should still get some gorgeous effects and some really 3D effects with the white cell activator. White cell activator. Wow, check out the gorgeous contrast we have here. We have some gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous, views going on here. I love the concentration of the dark color in the center, and there's some really pretty blues popping up right here. But of course, along the edge, just look at those gorgeous cells and lacing. Um, even up here, that blue black is really showing out. I hope we don't lose it. And you can see it again. And we just got Cell City up in here. I'm gonna go in and blow in a little bit of this white out. We're gonna move some of this paint around. Oh, wow, check that out. I'm loving the spread on this. Um, so this gradient you see under here is our blue bat being stretched out. And I really like it because it gives that gray look, um, which adds some depth and contrast in the colors. Um, I actually love these big white cells, but I want to get some of this white paint off. And... We're going to fix this corner just a bit. My paint is not doing a lot of movement, movement, and I don't want the center to get really wonky. So I'm going to let it be. Alright, so this time we're going to use those same pretty colors, but we're going to change the order um, and see what happens. 
This time we're gonna start dark with our paints gray. Almost had an accident here. <laughs> oh, everything just a tumbling. It's all right. So look, y'all. I'm so sad. I'm gonna lose this. But check out those gorgeous cells. Um, I need to break up some of this white in the center. Um, let's uh, wreck this just a little bit. We're going to blow out some of these sharp edges. I want some wispy effects on the end of this balloon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we're looking at right now. I love how this part has such big cells and then the smaller cells, and I actually like the embellishments. Um, it's like it's all pulling in. Let's spend one more time.
All right. I like this better. The white is not so much. Um, it's a lot going on here, but it has some really cool interest here. And I think it will complement the other piece very well because while the colors stay the same, these are two completely different pieces. And oh my goodness, let me show you guys this side wall here. Mmm, look at that. Yummy goodness. We're going to touch up the sides here. There is so much going on. I have to get you in for all of it. Look at those pretty cells. It's kind of a ghosting effect here. And we have that beautiful Borealis effect. And then this beautiful uh, curve or swirl, whatever you want to call it, with our big cells in the center. And we got some gorgeous cells on the outsides here that I hope we don't lose. We have to scrape the sides to make sure we don't lose it and check that out. I think every single color is present in this one little area. And I like the white, it's not as much anymore. This piece dried perfectly, and I'm in love with the cells. Um, one of my favorite parts. And of course, down here, we didn't lose any of that definition. The only thing that I may do is do some embellishments to bring out that white a bit, but that is going to be it for this one. And we were able to retain all the definition in this one as well. Check out that movement. And just love the action we have going on here. As always, family, I thank each and every one of you for taking just a few moments to spend with me while we paint together and have a little fun. I will see you in another video very soon. Have an amazing, productive day. Peace.